Jeremy Tracy here of Tracy Crokinole Boards with yet another skills challenge for you to challenge yourself, to frustrate yourself on your Crokinole Board uh, to bridge you, to help bridge that gap between when you have opponents to play against. So this drill, just like what my shirt says, tougher than it looks, this drill is absolutely tougher than it looks. So we're trying to get a little more clever with the names. This one we are going to call the all in drill. So you're taking the eight opponent's buttons and setting them all inside of the pegs. So again, we don't measure, we're not getting super precise, but basically straight between the peg and the center hole, touching the pegs all the way around. That's your starting point. And just like the other drills, if you haven't seen them again, we'll have the links below. We're going to shoot our eight buttons with the attempt to knock these off and score the highest, most possible points that you can. And just like the last couple drills we've done, after I do this a couple of times, you are going to have the opportunity to see some other players, both Lydia and Mackenzie, tackle this really fun drill, learn some different strategies, see what works, see what doesn't, and uh, then you get to take it on. Maybe practice it a couple dozen times before challenging a friend so you uh, feel more confident in your ability to whoop them. So just like with all the drills, you can do this in any order you want. You can either really focus on getting multiple buttons off with one shot, or you can be 20 going for 20s or both. This one in particular is super chaotic just because everything is so jammed up inside. You have no idea what's gonna kick in what direction. Um, you really want yours to go in the center and not uh, not the yellow or whatever whatever color you put out there. So I'm gonna start going for my first one, I'm gonna try for a double. I wanna take this one, have that one drive through there, and hopefully this one will go that way. With any luck, I'm actually gonna have the second one that I contact touch the, excuse me, touch this one. Probably not gonna go off, but at least to get it off that peg to set me up for a better future situation. This could be one of those situations that my eyes are bigger than my belly because I have no idea. I know I'm being greedy with what I'm trying to get out of the shot, but that's just kind of how I play. Look at that. Maybe I wasn't being greedy. That was more what I expected from this drill in that uh, that uh, didn't go as well as I had hoped. Now here, I'm gonna try to drive straight through Hogan's Alley. Probably not gonna, might get a double, I don't know. Probably the far two are most likely to go off. Nope. I, my predictions are way off today. Now, a very basic ricochet. The nice thing I like about this is that I also have the possibility of this one actually helping me out as uh, if my angle's a little bit off, my button could touch that and end up in the center and I'd actually be uh, quite happy with that. Back to a little better prediction, there's a 20 for me. So a couple things here, like I say, these uh, the great thing with these drills is it sets up different things. All of a sudden we were primarily focused here, but on my last shot I needed to do a hit and stick on the far side of the board, which is a skill in and of itself. Now here's a situation where I feel like a lot of people would just try to get that uh, just straight open 20, not even touch that other one. What I am going to do is very lightly try to touch my button that's already in there. Obviously I don't want to hit it hard and knock it down into the 10, but I'm pretty okay with moving it away. Oh, did I ever mess that up? I guess I should have just gone for the open 20. But uh, sometimes one nearby can really be your friend if you don't overhit it like I just did. Came up short on that. So, this is touching the line, so it comes down, it's a 10. That's a 10. I've got two 20s over here, so I've got 40, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 
95. Um, I don't know if I want to redo this drill, Mackenzie, because I'm not sure I can do any better than that. But uh, just to keep with the theme of the way we've been doing these videos, I am going to do another one without talking and uh, see if I can better that score. So um, I hope that gives you the gist of it. I'm going to quickly set this up. See if I can duplicate that amazingly uh, fortunate shot I pulled off last time. Ah, completely different this time. Like I say, every time you do this drill, it's gonna work out differently. This was way different than last time. I still ended up with black buttons on the board. So we're gonna start by canceling those out. This is touching the line, so it's a 10. When keeping score, I encourage you to start with that. Anything is touching the line, you move it to the, the right point, re, point region that it belongs in, then cancel points. So I'm going to take one of my 15s and use that to cancel the five and the 10. So now what's left on the board is my score. I've got a 20 here, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. Not as good as last time, but honestly, for how challenging this can, drill can be, I'm still very happy with that score. Uh, I'm sure if I do it again, I could end up with a minus or a, a super low score. It's really hard to say how this is going to go, but what I love about it is the variables that, like just the absolute chaos, and it forces you into situations where you're going through your own, you're doing doubles, you're going for bounce backs. You see my second shot there, I actually did a, a double bounce back I hit my own into the black and kicked it back into the 20 uh, it just uh, it just opens up the creativity uh, to see what you can make happen on that crokinole board that is going to spill over into every match you play in the future and it's just going to allow you to see different creative opportunities to make really fun highlight reel shots Again, I'm gonna turn it over to Lydia and Mackenzie and they are probably going to maybe show me up Plan, right? Dang. Thirty-five. All right, just like the other ones, I think you set up and do it again. Um, yeah, that was that a crazy was, start. That was an incredible. It made me think of a pool break. Like it was I made like incredible. two or three horrible shots. Oh, 
It's tough. <laughs> hey, that's off. Double. Damage. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a damage. Yeah, you get an opportunity with sharp twenties to offset to the drop. Oh, 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 oh! oh Super Steve. Oh. Offset it. You still have the positive. You're 15. Uh, 15, 25, 35, 55 to 40 is the 15. The 15. Alright. It's a sad series of events. Big L. Crush my score. Thanks, hey, Mac. Nice start. One. Well done. All right. So that's a 10. That's a five. So those two are going to cancel. Those two are going to cancel. So you have 40 plus 30 is 70 minus 10, 60 points. That's a very good score, but do you want to try and see if you can beat that score? Yeah. All right. Those cancel. 45, 55. Still a darn good score. All right, one more shot at it. Triple takeout. Wow. So, 10, 20, 30, 60, 90. I didn't think you were gonna beat your score and you did it. Nice shooting and zero coaching from me. You don't need me. Whew. I'm that good. Yes, that's right. You're that good. All right. Incredible. So I really hope you enjoyed seeing a couple of guest flickers here on the board doing this fun drill. Now, if you watched closely while Lydia was playing, there's something she does extremely well, and I hope you noticed that, that she is absolutely, completely fearless when it comes to shooting through her own, to hit her own into an opponent's button. No hesitation, she just lines up and takes the shot, and you see how incredibly well it worked out for her. So maybe there's a take home there for you. I guess my wish for you is that you have happy and fearless flicking while you're playing the greatest game on earth.